What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Double J here, back with another video, man. It's been a while. I know your boy been ripping and running, and East Coast, West Coast. And I'm just, you know, getting to the money, man. But I mean, I want to come back. I did a um a um video on leasing, but I see a lot of videos about how leasing. How they feel like leasing is a scam. I'm trying to get better light in here. How leasing is a scam. Now, in some in some instances, leasing a truck, yeah, um, you got certain companies out there that I feel like are scams, are, are scamming. But some are not. Not all leases are scams. So, um, I'm gonna take um, and why I want to know why do people say that? Like, is it because you have a buyout at the end of the lease is it because you're paying so much a week on the truck is it because because if you think about it i added up mine and by time i um when i first got my truck i had what seventy nine thousand miles on it basically still a brand new damn truck uh a 2016 freightliner by time i i added up all my payments by the end of my lease plus my buyout i'm gonna be at 169 for a brand new truck that's probably how much you're going to pay depending on the truck brand new truck right so really it's not a scam you know i can see if i it added up to 20 i mean uh, like 40 more thousand dollars or something like that but it's it's not as in my in my case, it's not. I'm sorry. It's not a it's not a scam. That's how much these trucks cost. You can go look it up. Brand new truck, brand new 2022. Look how much those brand new trucks cost. You know. And then one thing about a lease too, is that they don't tell you too why these people bashing leases and go want you to go out here and get into a truck at a dealership and then if your truck go out in the dealership. You know, you don't have the money to fix it. Your truck gets repo. That's going on your credit. With a lease, it doesn't hit your credit. It doesn't get it doesn't go on your credit unless you ter terminate the lease early, and you don't pay that five thousand dollars. Some people are five thousand dollars. No, mine was five thousand dollars if I was to terminate my lease early. But and you don't and they they send that to your collection. But that's the only thing. That's a good thing and a bad thing because you done paid all this money. And, and, and you should be able to show that on your credit report. But anyway, um, at the end of your lease also, you can upgrade to a newer truck. They don't tell y'all that part. Unless you want to pay off your truck and you think like, okay, well, nah, I don't have the money to pay it off right now. Or from whatever reason, you don't have the money at the end of the lease to say here. Let me um buy y'all. I, I want to buy out and get my title to my truck. This I want this. This is my truck. This is what I blood, sweat, and tears for. I don't want to upgrade. I don't want to do anything like that right there. This is my truck. Then you buy it out. But if you decide not to, or you don't have the money to, you can say, "Hey, okay, I'm at the end of my lease. I want to upgrade to a newer truck." Now you don't upgrade to your uh, 2022, 2021, whatever you, whatever you like. Nine times out of ten, it's whatever you like because you're paying for it. They're just not going to give you a truck. You pick out the truck what you want. That's the best thing about a scam. And then uh, I mean, I'm not about a scam. <laughs> That's the best thing about a lease. And also, with a lease versus going to the dealership and getting a truck. A used truck at that. If you're going to get a brand new truck, hey, you can afford that and you, you got the credit for that. Go ahead. Do it. I mean, I would recommend that. Yeah. But if you don't have the money to put down on a brand new spanking truck from these um trucking dealerships, I advise you to do a lease. Unless you're a mechanic, unless you, 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 you come across this great truck nothing wrong with it it got the best warranty in the world um 
fresh tires all the way around. Because nine times, see, some of these trucks, they don't even come with fresh tires all the way around. And, and then you got to do stuff to the truck once you get the truck. So not, I mean, it's just, I just don't, I just don't know, man. Like I wouldn't go to a dealership no more. I've done that and I got shitted and I will not do that no more. That, that just put a bad taste in my mouth. So I will not do that. So I would, I would recommend leasing from, I know I lease from um, Warner. They were pretty good. Hold on, before I get into that, another thing about the lease. You know where these trucks are coming off of outfits, where they're coming off of Warner. If you go to Warner, Swift, they're coming off of Swift. Prime, they're coming off of Prime. Um, Snyder, they're coming off of Snyder. Um, I'm sorry, FSI, they're coming off of Snyder. Um, what other big names is out there? It's a bunch of big name companies out there, which recommend, I mean, which... Not some of these companies I know for a fact get DOT inspections every 90 days. If something goes wrong with the truck, they got their own shops and everything like that. They're fixing these shops. They know what, what's going on with these trucks. These trucks are basically, you know, well maintained and you know what you're getting. And they got all the records on the truck because they do the work for it. They did all the maintenance to the truck. So why not go there versus going to a dealership? Can that did you think that dealership can give you all the the maintenance records on that truck that he's about to give you? No. I guarantee you not. I guarantee you can't go to a used dealership, um, a used dealership, and get a used truck, and they give you all the maintenance record on the truck. So how do you know what you're getting? You can go down the road and something happen. Oh, you got an extended warranty. Call the extended warranty department. If you haven't dealt with extended warranties yet, just know that they're going to find a reason to why not to warranty that work. Especially if it costs a lot. They're going to say this costs this, so we can't warranty that. Or this failed because of this this failing, then it caused that to fail, which is under warranty. So we can't honor your warranty. That's what that's that's the games that they play. Versus you going under, getting you a truck from one of these outfits and leasing to one of these outfits. If something go wrong with the truck, you got a maintenance account. And nine times out of ten, they will. It's the truck is still under warranty. Once it gets to like three hundred thousand or something like that, they put these trucks up for sale, like for leasing for owner operators. I don't even think they go to. They don't let the truck get to five hundred thousand because they want to still have a little bit of warranty on it when you get the truck. And that's, I mean, that's, don't, so don't, my, my thing is, do your own research and don't let other people determine, okay, leasing is just because their experience was bad, don't have to make, doesn't mean that your experience is going to be the same thing. Because when I first started driving, Everybody was telling me, man, don't lease, don't do this, don't do that. Your payments are high, it's blase, blase, blase. I'm sitting back and thinking about it. I mean, like, I also went down and did reviews on the company that my, well, my wife did. She's another story. My, my wife is going to do a review on everything. So she, which is a good thing because it made me see, okay, we're reading all the bad, but what about the good comments? Let me go back and read the good comments. I just don't go and read all the bad comments. I read all, I both, you know, back and forth, back and forth. You read the good comments with the bad comments. And you can tell some of the bad comments are people that, you know, probably didn't know what they were doing. 
got mad with the company. Something happened with the company, so they want to bash the company. It's, I mean, it, it, it's not. It's not, and it's, then it's not. Some people say, well, you paying a thousand dollars a week for a truck that, that I mean, a thousand dollars a week, you can go to dealership and pay fifteen hundred dollars a month. I guarantee I'll be finished paying for my truck before you finish paying yours. How you like that? If I get a brand new truck, leasing through a company, you go out and get a brand new truck from the dealership, I'll be finished paying for my truck before you'll be finished paying for yours. Unless you double up on your payments. Look at it like that. Also, that whole thousand dollars is not going towards your payment. Probably 200 to, in some cases, $300 is going towards maintenance. So really you're paying $700 a month, $700 a week, $700 a week on the truck and 300 is going to maintenance. Why not? As long as you keep up with your truck for a year, the first year you get in your lease, you keep up with your truck, you do your um, inspections like you're supposed to do them, you do your pre-trips like you're supposed to do them, check your truck thoroughly, try to catch try to catch stuff before it happens because you're doing your pre-trip looking at your belts looking at your if you got a leak looking at if you if your airbags is gone or your, your tires are worn a certain type of way or you know it's it's all kind of different things that you have to keep up with with these trucks to prevent you having a bad you know something else going bad and you getting in the shop and being down for weeks because you're going to the dealership, you're going to be down for at least a, a week or so. Because they're always backed up. So prevent that. Prevent that. That's it. Simple as that, man. But do your research. Don't listen to these guys that say leasing is bad. Leasing is a scam. Because it's not. I got this truck three years ago. March of 2022, I'll have my title. And I'm going to do a video on that. So, and I paid, um, I was paying nine something a week. But then I upped it to, um, I upped it a hundred more dollars because when I take off, I just want to have money there for um, that week that I'm off. Versus coming out of my pocket making my payment or being in the red. So I just, I pay $1,000. But out of that nine, I think it's what, nine, um, 989, $289 or $279. I can't remember. I had to look at my paperwork and everything. It goes towards maintenance, maintenance account. So I'm really paying what, six? Seven and some chap six and some change. Seven for three years. And it was I did matter of fact it was for a two year lease. But at the end of my lease I had to pay a forty thousand dollar um buyout. I didn't want to give him forty thousand dollars. I don't have forty thousand dollars just give y'all and say, hey, give me my title. It would have been nice, but I said, hey, can you extend my lease till it get down to twenty thousand? And then we we um I'll buy it out then. They agreed. Twenty thousand is a whole lot better. Sounds a whole lot better than forty thousand dollars. So at the end of my lease, I extended my lease from my east. My lease ended June. My lease ended June fifteenth of twenty twenty one. A couple months ago, a few months ago. I extended it until March, uh, March 17th. That's when I got to have the $20,000. I'm getting my title, buddy. So thank y'all for watching today, man. And um, 
I'll be doing more videos, man. Like, cause I'm, I'm like, you know, snow coming up and all that good stuff this winter, man. So I, um, I'm here getting loaded now in um, Richmond, and I'm headed to Oregon, man. Like, I like to ride. I like, I like to ride my truck out, man, and just put it on the road and stretch it out. I don't like all that stopping, getting unloaded here, getting unloaded there, loaded here, loaded there, dropping here, dropping there. No, give me a good run. Give me a one one or two good runs a week. I'm going back home for a week. So this is what I do. I go to I go from east to west coast if the money's right. For one. I go to east to west coast. I'm going to go to the west coast. Paying good load. Get a good load. Coming back paying good. And I go home. Land star, baby. Yeah. It's your boy Double J, man. I'm out, man. Y'all make sure y'all like and hit that um hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. I mean subscribe. <laughs> hit that subscribe button. Hit notification bell. So y'all know when I post videos. I'm out, man. Peace out.